Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. Okay, so we're gonna make the intro sore and sweet today, um, because a girl's actually about to fly out in like now. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna make the short and sweet. So it's gonna be minimal edits, guys, but it's gonna I'm gonna edit it in a way where it's more like a movie. Oh, and welcome to Kai Tober, 31 Days of Terror with a sprinkle of chaos. Sorry guys, and if you're looking at my hair and you like it, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, before we get started with this whole thing to unpack, because this was a lot last time. Um, yes, also um, I don't know when I'm going to cut up because these are going to be parts, so I don't know how I'm going to cut it. Um, but when you start hearing the music start playing, like outro music, that means that the episode's about to end. So, like, you will know, so you won't be surprised. Like, what the freak is, where's the rest of the episode? So, it might have, like, abrupt intros. It might not have any intros for the next parts, only because I don't know where I'm going to make these parts. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I remember... I didn't do it! Wait! I wasn't trying to call. And if you didn't see the other part, the other part is posted on Kaitober, so go ahead and look at that. Bro, I didn't. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Um, choose between Beth or Andrew. I was try I, I wanted, okay, so last episode, basically, we, one of the hotel guests is stalking us, and he, there's pictures of us doing things we're not supposed to be doing. Like, we are snooping through other guests' like luggage and stuff and being nosy, which he shouldn't be. And it said he can either call Beth or Andrew's help or he can say he can get rid of the evidence. And I want to deliberate because I really wanted to get... I don't know. Okay, let's just say Beth. Let's say Beth. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Yeah, really? I'm a... I knew it. You did? I don't know. I, mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? Ooh, I found a dark room where he caught me snooping. I want to be honest. We want to play this game as honest as possible, so. Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious. And, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Mm -mm. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea. But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your back. This is true. I like Beth. I'm so happy I told her. So I... I could throw them out. I could always throw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but... You found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah. I modeled for a while. Oh. Anyway, what I'm getting at What's is about those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um, before I even choose, did y'all realize we're calling old girl from his room? So old dude can literally come in at any second. But whatever. Um, I guess we can keep looking. There is a safe here. Do you want me to snoop? Let's you do want me to keep digging around? Well, there are pictures of you snooping. So why stop now? This Beth. is true. Oh, loosen up a little. I like Beth, bro. One's dead. She better not be training. Any idea uh, where I should stop uh, then? Well, now piercing? that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I remember Mr. Spade asking for the combination to his room's safe. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Maybe, but... I don't have the code. Mm, give me a minute. Sorry, my piercing is like messing everything up. Man, 
Zelda. Okay. Those idiots. My what? I can't find the combination list. The night oh. staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Ooh. Maybe you can have a look around the room and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. Yes. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Yes. Okay. I like that yeah. idea. Very much so. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Yes, please. Of course. I'm so happy we call Beth. Because I just don't know Andrew. And I don't know if he likes me or if he's obsessed with me. He might use it against me, you know what I'm saying? So, let's see her help from Beth. I called Beth for help. She convinced me to keep digging. All right, we don't need to know all that. Um, it's cute. Okay. If reception gave him a code, maybe he wrote it down. Somewhere. What? Is that? What is he tracking? But this is like a movie. I hope you guys are comfortable. I'm not. My feet are very cold. That's anemia for you. Let's inspect this. Laboratory. I just went there for the first time and... God, it, it's been years, hasn't it? What is this? Why is this upside down? The lake. That's a map of a lake. What does he need with a piece of paper that says a lake? Tickets for the train? I remember and... the sale. I picked up that new winter jacket for mom. Interesting that she remembers that. Uh, okay. Harry's diner, too. Were we ever there at the same time? Oh, <gasps> so he was stalking her. This is all the things that she know. Hold on. Oh, yeah, he's stalking us. It says, why Harry's? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. She didn't want to comment on that? Okay, cool. Can we, like, inspect this? Let's see, T30. What does that mean? Beaver Lake? That's where I took mom's kitty in last month. Why is this up here? He's in love with this. I know I'm a baddie, but dang. <laughs> Special occasion, wedding, funeral. Okay. So he's in love with this. I'm convinced. So what's this? Is this a floor of the I was the keeping 10 a.m. to 4. Lobby boys. He got our schedules. What is this? Being tracked. Okay, we know that. Um, clues. We have stalking proof. Yep, proof that he's stalking us. And there's a hotel plan. Yeah, we know that. Progress. We already know that too. Okay. Um, this letter here. Morgan, is that your real name? Why did you, you check in under Mr. Spade? Because he don't want you to know who he is. Like, why would a stalker put his real name if you're trying to... But, child, you have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died 10 years ago. Two years ago. I can't read. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please, let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. So is that his, like, ex or something? Uh, it keeps saying... Prog oh, there it is. Ruth greeted me with a sight I can never see coming. Snoopy through a guest. Yeah, room. What is this? Lost and found. Okay. Where did all that? Okay. What else? Letter from Lindsay's mom. You have to stop writing to this. Da, da, da. So this, we already see all this. So we don't really need to look at that too much. Uh, what is, is that money? Oh, sorry. Is this money? Oh, this is letters to Lindsay. Okay. I'm not Lindsay, so it's not me. Uh, who's that to Morgan? Okay. One man's trash is another maid's trash. <laughs> Franks and Mains? Okay, what's this? Why is this like highlight on the floor? Uh, you see, it looked like a light was on it. Quest to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? The present letter is to confirm the reception of your transfer request in room 507. 
Interesting. Why is this TV the storm on? Turn is it getting off. Worse. I hope mom's not too bored without her TV shows. No! Y'all did not mean to do that. I cleaned his ashtray. He's gonna know. Wow. He got all the gear. What do we have here? A key that we need. Alright. Where's the safe at? Is that what we needed? Uh, let's close that door. No combination. No entry. Alright, we're gonna keep that key though. Oh, it could be for the luggage. Hmm. Alright, what do we got here? Ugh, be ugly. Uh -uh. You spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you Who's left that? with a long list of diagnoses. He has short-term memory loss. He has anxiety, character disorder. The patient initially admitted for a nervous breakdown. He displays erratic behavior, and he's non responsive to shock treatment. Oh, this was back in the day, so they were doing that type of crazy stuff. And I don't know what those medications mean. Um, yeah, so the man is crazy. He's crazy. Um, he has short-term memory loss, so I hope he forgets about the mashes that I threw away. <laughs> Let's get out of here close and put that key back bro put that right back I wish we could put the freaking ashes back I didn't mean to do that I'd forget my own on? head if I didn't write everything down I guess we have that in common <gasps> we had the chance we had the option to throw it away okay hold on let's read what she's let's read what she's saying a uh, pile of envelopes with the rope, tied together with the rope, a letter from Bernard. We got that. Binoculars, army picture. Okay, clues. Oh, that's where we're on. Wait, what the clues is there? Oh. Hostile discharge pile. Don't forget to take your pills. Um, I might I low key might wanna um yeah, I think that I might from Bernard. Was there anything on the back? The letter from Bernard. Hold on. Okay, right here. Oh, Lindsay's address. Infantry division. There you go. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Mmm, okay. Year of hospital discharge. Okay. Year of hospital discharge. Okay, 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 okay. Discharge. Year for discharge. 1957. Okay, I think it's 1957. Alright, let's go. I hope it worked first time. Wait. Frack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. Oh, one is Lindsay's address, two is infantry division. Three years, so 1950. So 57 is three. Infantry division. So 34, 34, what's the infantry division? 34, oh, 
I'm thinking 42. Yeah, I'm thinking th 42. So 35, 42. I'm trying to remember, guys. 35. 35. What? What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is why I need to write stuff down. <laughs> what was that? Oh, let's go over here. There it is, 99. Okay. No! No! Frack! Y'all know! What? No. Beth, you said you'd call if Mr. Spade Don't do that, Beth! Room. Oh, no, yeah, I did say that. Sorry for the fright. Oh my god, Beth. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I didn't mean for it. I was just so caught up in the thrill of it all. Uh, okay. Check in. Shut up, please. Did you find Respectfully, Beth? Um, no. I was about to open the safe. But I think I have enough leads to open the safe now. Yes, so... I'm impressed. Well done, Arsène Lupin. What? Beth! Oh, never mind. Don't let me keep please, you. Please, hop okay. off my phone. I'll call you back. Yeah, but this is a better. movie. We're in a movie theater. You guys got popcorn? Mr. Spade Give me some. For real this time. All right. Thanks. Oh, excuse me, Mom. Didn't mean to burp in your face like that. My apologies, apologies. All right, we're going to check that later, but I'm very nervous. So let's just hurry up and do this because I'm not built for this life. And then 57. There we go. Open up. He got a Glock. Not safe for work. Yeah, it's not. Let's do this. M and H. M and H. Who are they? Are they guests here? That's what I'm saying. So he's tracking the whereabouts. I've arrived at the hotel, 1230. Spade. Okay. Okay. Okay, Sophie, you should probably put this down. No. Okay, fine, whatever. All I right, should let's make exit. sure I checked every page of the journal. Oh, we can? Oh. You're going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? Hmm. Who is M and H? Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. On me. Okay, so he's trying to find out who M and H is. We need to throw away this film, right? Let me let me go through our notes. Um, journal detailing. Okay, so we can come back to this at any time. That's great. Again with the European look. Let's see progress. It's like, so he's stalking M and H. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm grateful he only said pictures of me. He has extensive notes. So he just loves us, but he, I think there's something else going on with that. Don't forget to buy more film. I should make him forget this. Oh, this is his key. All right, false alarm. Okay, clues. Film reminder. I really want to throw away all his notes because again, he's crazy and I don't want him stalking us. So we gotta throw this away, right? He gonna come at us. Hold on. Let me just look around. I'll put that right back. Don't know what that is. Yeah, let's call. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Beth, am I throwing this away or not? Because I would, but he Clarington my face. Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. 
Andrew. Andrew. Cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin. Just do it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god. So, found anything on Mr. Spade? Well, Mr. Spade isn't even his real name. What? Mm -mm -mm. What is it then? Paul Morgan. Ooh, I can see why he changed it. Can we hurry so up? We have to soak that. Safe? What was in it? I found a his journal. journal. His journal? Does he say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking two other people as well. Oh, who are they? They're guests. I don't know their names though. I I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy, although it may <laughs> seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? I don't. They refer to him as, um... Uh... What? Dialogue options with that icon will bring you back to this conversation point. Okay. Um, they're referred to as H and M. No. I found I a transfer found request. I found that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507. But mm -hmm. it was denied because that's Mrs. Beaumont's room. Exactly. H &M. Hmm. Why change rooms when his entire setup is in 505? I'm exactly. not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. Maybe, but I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, Mr. Morgan refer to? refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials or. I don't husband, know. And mistress. husband and mistress. Oh, That's good. I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Hmm. Would you look at that? What? There's a Is couple here? staying in room 509. Hector oh. and Marcella Cruz. He Hector wants to get close to them. Marcella. H and M. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. Um. Let's see. What do we know? How are they linked to me? And why is he stalking them? Yeah, let's do, do what do we know, know about, about them? the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Nothing to write home about. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do, actually. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah. Beth, I mm -hmm. like what there. you get into, babe. That's my girl. I'll call you if Period. I find anything. Should I throw away this film? Okay. I will. I promise. Oh, so they just threw us in here. I want to, you know, I'm actually I'm happy we didn't throw away the film only because I don't want him knowing that we were in there. But we didn't get to close the safe. You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yay, he knows. Yay, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. So we gotta must clean. Have my keys in the break room again. Oh, what's our mission? I'll need my keys to enter room 509. I should probably check the break room. We can't sprint. I don't like that. Um, we already checked everything out here. Out in here. Like, um, keys. Say no to divorce. Why did that close? It was just open. guys sorry okay all right locker room laundry room break room Woo! this game is getting so good bro i'm so excited to come back and play this it's locked i guess i'll have to get linda's master key instead i don't know who linda is babes i don't know who that is um let's try the laundry room the book has had her hands full lately i hope she's doing okay Sorry, I just cut her off. What? What are you looking at? Don't be nosy. You ready? Hypocr Hypocrite B word. Y'all really, I'm convinced I'm like losing my tongue. What did Linda do? And to whom? Girl, who is Linda? My wife will be at her parents tonight. So come by by my house at eight. I'll make sure you bring the new lingerie I bought you. <gasps> I think it's that couple. The couple that she is trying to break up, remember? Um, let me show you guys real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Um, characters. Let's see. Linda. Her. Remember, she's trying to break up, I think, Wendy and Jacquez. Yep, them two. And they must have found something that ties back to Linda, this girl, that she's having an affair. Who's Rebecca? It's a tough job to do on your own, but you managed to get it done. Okay. We'll go back to that when we need to know who Rebecca is. Okay, we already know all that information. We hear somebody crying, but let me get this key. That'll do. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget to return it. Uh, I'm going to forget. <laughs> so. Linda, you're not even trying to hide the oh! tears in your eyes. Yo, she is mad. But it says they have an affair. Again, we don't know the whole situation, so we can't assume. Because we already Holding assumed about Wendy and Jacquez. I hope someone here shares your passion for reading. You do, girl. Go ahead and take a little thing. Oh, it says throw away. Um, to employees, Valentine's Day. Mrs. Uh, Beaumont seemed perfectly nice to me. The, the divorcee. Okay, I have a name. The freak, but whatever. There's somebody crying, though. Or is that a dog? Someone's crying. I said, is that a dog? What is it? Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you alright? Do I sound alright? I... No. No. I was I just trying not. to be nice. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Oh. I was say, who wrote on her door? I, I don't mean to disturb you, but... Did you see who wrote that message on Linda's door? What? The lipstick message. Do you know who wrote it? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Interesting. Please, Sophie, go. Alright. Okay. Interesting. So you tell me they did that while they heard you cry in the bathroom? No, they don't know somebody's there. They're not gonna do that. Girl, you know who did it or you did it. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, we can come investigate this stuff later when we're not, like, stalking people. Um, I need to get back into that room, though. Hopefully it lets me walk around. Cause we need to get back to that room and close that safe up. Hey Ooh, you. she scared me. Oh, Bet hey, you're on the lookout. On break already? Sadly, no. I have an express delivery to make to the sixth floor. Isn't that Jacques or Andrew's job? Well, they're both busy. So, what about you? I thought you'd be in 509. I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our investigation. Oh, oh this girl. I see. Well, this has been quite the day so far, hasn't it? I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, I though. I want some popcorn! I'm like, I'm gonna be cuddled up like you guys, dang! I just saw something on Linda's door, I just spoke to Wendy in the bathroom. Let me say, let's While talk about Linda's door. While I was looking for my keys, I found some graffiti on Linda's door. What kind of graffiti are we talking about? The words... Hypocrite bitch in red lipstick. <laughs> I wonder who could have written it. If I had to bet, I'd put my money on Wendy. Linda's been treating her like her personal punching bag as of late. Yeah, she has. Um, Wendy should have done that. If Bernard hears about this, I don't want to get involved or Linda's being too harsh. Um, again, stay out people's business. Whatever I happened, I'd rather not get involved. It's easy to point fingers, but we don't have the full picture. They're clearly going through a lot right now, both of them. You know, I don't know how you do it, Sophie. Maybe it's because my empathy only goes so far, but I admire that you're able to feel for just about anyone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, these are, we can flirt. It's like my mom always taught me and thanks. I think it comes from my mom. Best As believe a Andrew. The war, she had oh to boy. care for all kinds of soldiers, even enemy ones sometimes. I don't know if I'm quite at her level yet, though. Don't sell yourself short. You're a very compassionate person, Sophie. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> well, this was a lovely chat, but I better see if Eugene is around maintenance. Hopefully, he can help me find this thing for our esteemed guest. Yeah, oh. we both got a lot on our plates today. I can't wait to find out more about our friends H and M. Take care. You too. Why do Why does it say louder? Hmm. We 
can't. No, let's just leave. <laughs>